The Nanodrop Sample Retention System is innovative technology that uses the inherent surface tension of liquids to hold and measure microvolume samples between two optical pedestals without the use of cuvettes or capillaries. As little as one microliter of sample is pipetted directly on top of the lower optical surface. Upon closing the spectrometer arm, a liquid column is created between the upper and lower optical pedestals by surface tension, forming a vertical optical path. The vertical path length can automatically change in real time during the measurement. Shortening the path length enables the measurement of higher concentrations, effectively removing the need to perform dilutions for most nucleic acid samples. Furthermore, the sample retention system expedites the experimental process with a fast cleanup, which consists of simply wiping the optical surfaces with a laboratory wipe. Today we will be demonstrating two procedures for determining nucleic acid concentration using thermoscientific microvolume instrumentation. The first protocol is a direct nucleic acid measurement using the Nanodrop 2000C spectrophotometer. The second protocol is an indirect fluorescence nucleic acid measurement using the Nanodrop 3300 fluorospectrometer. To begin, Clean the upper and lower optical surfaces of the microvolume spectrophotometer sample retention system by pipetting 2 to 3 microliters of clean deionized water onto the lower optical surface. Close the lever arm, ensuring that the upper pedestal comes in contact with the deionized water. Lift the lever arm and wipe off both optical surfaces with a clean, dry, lint-free lab wipe. Next, open the Nanodrop software and select the nucleic acid application. Use a small volume calibrated pipetter to perform a blank measurement by dispensing one microliter of buffer onto the lower optical surface. Lower the lever arm and select blank in the nucleic acid application. Once the blank measurement is complete, clean both optical surfaces with a laboratory wipe as before. Choose the appropriate constant for the sample that is to be measured. Next. Dispense one microliter of nucleic acid sample onto the lower optical pedestal and close the lever arm. Because the measurement is volume independent, the sample only needs to bridge the gap between the two optical surfaces for a measurement to be made. Select Measure in the application software. The software will automatically calculate the nucleic acid concentration and purity ratios. Following sample measurement, review the spectral output a typical nucleic acid sample will have a very characteristic profile. Spectral indicators of a poor quality sample include wavelength shifts in the trough and in the 260 nanometer peak. Common sources of contaminants associated with specific nucleic acid isolation techniques include phenol triazole and column extraction. In the case of phenol triazole extraction, residual reagent contamination may be indicated by abnormal spectra between 220 and 240 nanometers, as well as by shifts in the 260 to 280 nanometer region. Conversely, residual guanidine from column extraction may contribute to a peak near 230 nanometers and a shift in the trough from 230 nanometers to approximately 240 nanometers. To accurately assess sample purity, 260-280 and 260-230 ratios should be analyzed in combination with overall spectral quality. Pure nucleic acids typically yield a 262 radio ratio of approximately 1.8 and approximately 2.0 for DNA and RNA respectively. This ratio is dependent on pH and ionic strength of the buffer used to make the blank and sample measurements. The Nanodrop 3300 fluorospectrometer employs the same patented microvolume sample retention system as the Nanodrop 2000C spectrophotometer, with fluorescence measurements being performed with as little as one microliter of sample. The user chooses one of three LEDs as the excitation source, which fires at the sample horizontally. The subsequent sample fluorescence is then collected at a 90 degree angle vertically into an internal spectrometer. To demonstrate high sensitivity microvolume nucleic acid quantitation using the Nanodrop 3300, a Pico Green fluorescence kit is used. To begin, equilibrate the kit standards and all nucleic acid samples to room temperature. Fluorescent samples are light sensitive and should be kept in amber or aluminum wrapped tubes. 
Prepare enough 1xTE buffer for all standards and samples to be measured, as well as for the PicoGreen working solution that will be needed. Prepare 1xTE buffer by diluting the provided 20xTE buffer with nuclease-free water per the manufacturer's protocol. Reaction volumes can range from 200 microliters to as little as 10 microliters. In this example, we will prepare 10 microliter reaction volumes. Next, prepare serially diluted double-stranded DNA standards in nuclease-free vials or tubes that will cover the expected concentration range of the unknown DNA samples. Transfer 5 microliters of each of the diluted double-stranded DNA standards into an individually labeled nuclease-free amber or foil-covered tube. Then, aliquot 5 microliters of each double-stranded DNA sample of interest into the appropriately light-protected tube. After preparing the PicoGreen working solution according to the manufacturer's protocol, transfer an equal volume of the solution to each tube containing either double-stranded DNA standard or double-stranded DNA sample, in this case, 5 microliters. Combine equal volumes of 1xTE buffer and PicoGreen working solution to prepare the negative control which serves as a reference solution. Mix the contents of each tube thoroughly by gentle pipetting and allow to incubate at room temperature for 5 minutes. All standards and samples should be equilibrated to the same temperature before measurement as fluorescence signal is affected by temperature. To prepare the instrument and perform measurements, first clean the lower and upper surfaces of the sample retention system. Pipette 2 to 3 microliters of deionized water onto the lower optical surface, close, then open the lever arm, and blot the upper and lower pedestals with a clean, lint free laboratory wipe. Ensure the surfaces are free of lint before proceeding, as lint can exhibit fluorescence in the presence of an excitation source and can interfere with the measurement. Open the instrument software, select the nucleic acids application, and select the Pico Green double stranded DNA option. Pipette 2 microliters of 1XTE to the lower pedestal, close the lever arm, and select blank in the instrument software field. Once the blank is complete, blot off the blank solution from both surfaces of the sample retention system. Next, mix the reference solution by gentle pipetting. Using low retention tips, pipette 2 microliters of the reference solution onto the lower pedestal and close the lever arm. Select Reference under the Standards tab and select the desired units. Click Measure to initiate the measurement cycle. When the measurement cycle is complete, open the lever arm and thoroughly blot off the sample retention system surfaces. Measure up to five replicates of the reference using a fresh aliquot for each replicate. Repeat the process for the additional standards to build a standard curve. Up to seven standards may be used. The software is designed to store up to five replicates for each standard. Replicates of the standards are averaged to generate a standard curve from which the sample concentrations are automatically determined. Once the standard curve is complete, select the Samples tab, enter the respective sample ID information, and measure each unknown sample. A valid curve indicates that the minimum number of standards has been met. The DNA concentration is automatically determined based on the standard curve. Nanodrop microvolume instrumentation can determine nucleic acid concentration by either direct A260 measurements or indirect fluorometric methods. Nanodrop spectrophotometers can also be used to quantify proteins using direct A280 absorbance or by protein color metric assays.